This is Jeff with Wonko. Today we're going to look at the ICC controller that has the new data classified system built into the ICC. So it's an added feature that we're going to look at. We're going to bypass most of all the other stuff. There's other videos on uh, YouTube to go look at for message board stuff. So today we're focusing on the additional of the data classifier to the ICC for changeable message boards. As always, start by clicking the screen. We want to log in. Again, we're using a password that has probably been changed by your group, we hope. And so here we are, a standard menu that everybody is familiar with if they've used Wonko message signs. So in order to get to your data classifier from here, a couple screens that we got to go to. We're going to start with settings. Our only choices are devices. And here we have radar settings, classifier settings, auxiliary power. So to get into the classifier, we're going to go classifier settings. And here we are. We're into the menu of classifier settings. We have classifier data, align classifier, classifier off, and tune class type. First thing we want to do is turn the classifier on. So we're going to come over here and turn the classifier on. You can turn it on or off. Just that easy. Classifier is now on. And so now we have a classifier running. And now with this new classifier on the ICC control box, we include a sign radar package that goes with it. So we can help in, in setting up the classifier uh, to make sure we're getting some good numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to go look at the uh, Align Classifier. And here we are seeing Align Classifier. The radar is saying zero. The classifier says 82. But we're inside right now, so we're not in traffic. We're not seeing cars go by. So if we had cars going by, the radar would be showing what the speed of the cars are going by and it would actually, as a classifier goes by, uh, or actually as cars go by classifier, you would actually see the number that the classifier is reading. So we want to tune into matching the radar and matching the classifier numbers as close as we can. So again, like all of Wonko classifiers, set the classifier 45 degrees across the roadway as a side fire uh, setup. It does not get pointed straight down the road. It doesn't get set 90 degrees. It's 45 degrees is that sweet spot where we want you to put it. But we know that all locations are not the same. There's different setbacks. There's different hills. There's different uh, slopes in the road, curves. So there is going to be some adjustability if you can't do it by turning the radar 45 degrees. So that's what we have here is adjust, adjustment by percentage and so if your numbers aren't matching, you can go 10% down in the numbers to make it match, or you can adjust it and go 10% above. So you have a 10% range to dial in your speed using this adjustment. Um, that's to, to basically get you to a matching number uh, radar compared to classifier. Always, though, start at the zero and then take it from there. It may take a little bit of time to get that dial in exactly, but you can get it very, very, very close. Now let's set up the classification of what the vehicle is. So we're going to go back. We're going to go tune class type. And if we had vehicles coming through, our sign would show us what we're uh, showing there on a radar speed, if we were running radar speed there. We would actually show what the cars are doing coming into the sign. And we have uh, an approach and depart value here. So we can see that we have different scales here. And again, we can adjust those if you really want to match to a particular vehicle. And the reason I say really, really match, sometimes a truck to somebody might be a 53-foot over-the-road truck, a semi-truck. Other people that are in the cities might want to call a delivery truck a truck. So they would set the length to be less 
to make a over the road truck be a delivery truck. So they would go and mi put minus in there to shorten up that truck length of what the, the classifiers, the radar saying to really be that delivery truck. And it might be the same thing for cars. Sometimes uh, uh, metro areas have smaller cars so you really want a car to be minus. And now we can say that the uh, pickup truck is now a truck and the car is now a car. But again, like everything else, let's start at zero and take it from there. Now that we've set up our classifier, we've set the uh, class of the vehicle, we've set the speed, we've left it out there for a good amount of time, let's go grab some data to run a report. We'll go back, classifier data. This shows us a classifier data log that has multiple records in it and what we're going to do now is download all this information. We could do it either from the cellular modem right through the WTA software or since we're here we're going to use a USB thumb drive plugged into the USB interface port. We plug that in and we get a flash of the USB stick saying that we've recognized it and we can come over here and download classifier data. And we get an error message. Well, I mean, sometimes we get these error messages, sometimes we don't, but don't give up quite yet. Let's try it again. Go back, do it a second time. And there we get it the second time. We've recognized it. And download complete. We've loaded our records on there. And the USB file name is this. If you care to look for that particular number in your computer when you plug your USB in to go grab a file, and put it into the WTA software. So we've downloaded all our records onto the USB drive, but we want to start afresh for the next deployment of this thing. Uh, it has new uh, files on it. We don't want to corrupt the files with old files from new files. So we want to clear the classifier. So to clear the classifier, again, the next button over is clear classifier data. We select that. Warning, all data records will be deleted. Yes, we know, but we're going to ask you like nine times, so here we go. And we deleted the files. We said yes. Warning, it's going to be delayed. And there we have, we have cleared the records. So here we have the log that shows that the classifier data log is empty. Shows that the unit's ready to go for the next deployment. So we'll just go back. And see that again, classifier data log is empty. And as we deploy it next time, we'll start getting numbers. We recommend on the data classifier that when not in use, turn it off. So we're just going to make sure that we turn it off. And there you go, classifier is off. Now we're waiting for the next deployment where we might need it, where you'll turn it on. So there we go. Thank you for watching the video. Always go back to www.wonko.com slash videos for many more YouTube videos. Thank you.